Hi, today we'll see uh, some recent goodies that we have got in the netbook shell. Let's start with the newspaper. It uh, received some uh, nice visual improvements, such as now the wallpaper is more visible, as well as there, there is less margin to give more space to the widget. Same thing is happened uh, to the search and launch interface, as long as uh, some uh, uh, other improvements, but um, I'll talk about that uh, in uh, the next screencast. Yeah, I know, I'm teasing you, I'm evil. Anyways, going back to the newspaper, let's see uh, what the what are the new default widgets. The left column is uh, more news-oriented, so there are a um, feed reader and a weather widget, while the right hand column is more social networking oriented with an open desktop plasmoid and a client for the no knowledge base always of opendesktop.org. Uh, this uh, is because we want to really put the, an accent on the online content in the netbook shell in particular but in the whole KDE in general. Anyways, each Plasma widget now has a title bar on top that displays the name, making it easier to identify the different kinds of widgets at a first glance, but also giving a comfortable handle that can be used to drag uh, the viewer around. The title bar as the desktop widget handle gives also those icons that are the usual close and configure buttons, plus the new button I presented in the last screencast. It looks uh, like a maximize button because the idea is to uh, maximize the Plasma widget in its full application counterpart. So the news widget will expand into aggregator. Here we go. Or the open desktop plasmoid will open a browser in the open desktop web page as well as the weather forecast here we are will open uh, um, the forecast web page for this day in this place a new thing that is apparent here is uh, that all the plasma widgets that have a scrolling view such as those two such as the newspaper itself such as the search and launch interface icon view now have uh, got for free the recent work of um, Eden Nielsen and Igor on this uh, kind of views now there is a nice animation effect while uh, scrolling those views. Here we go. Either with the mouse wheel or by dragging and launching them even uh, um, with a nice bouncing effect in the hand like this. It gives uh, a more organic look and feel and is um, more touch screen friendly as well. Here is not really visible because unfortunately the screencast application skips too many frames to, to look as smooth as is in the reality. You should really try that. The last thing that is a uh, really preliminary stage now is that it is now possible to add new pages of the newspaper and of course uh, removing them that makes uh, possible to do a more fine-grained categorization of your information. And for today, that's it. See you the next time. Bye-bye.